<laughs> That's better. I don't know. Yeah, hey, it's the preacher. Let's start all this over. This is all not making any sense. Hey, it's the preacher. And uh, I'm doing a little metal detecting today. I'm not really looking for anything relic-wise or old or silver. I'm just looking for some pocket change. There was a uh, trailer house here for, I don't know, maybe 15 years on uh, the family farm. Several of the people that worked for my uh, wife's family over the years lived here and moved in, moved out. Um, you know, help kind of comes and goes on the farm anyways. They rented it out for a number of years. Before that, there was a, um, I don't know if you would call it like a headquarters, but there was a kind of a gravel mining operation here. And they had, they had a building here, and I think some people lived here for a while. It's not old. I mean, everything that happened here probably happened in the last, say, 50 years. But uh, I think there's a lot of pocket change here. And so what I've done is I've gone down just one side of the driveway, marking spots where I, I thought I would find a coin, you know, where it seemed to ring up and show as a coin. And uh, I got to marking so many, I thought, let's just stop. I was going to do the whole driveway and then take you all along, but I went down one edge and I've marked about eight or ten spots. So I got my Coinmaster GT with me today. This is a White's metal detector. I think I give around... $600 for this. I don't know. I've had it a long time. But it's a Coinmaster GT. If you leave the GT off, it's just a Coinmaster. So, uh, anyways, let me uh, bring the camera over here and let's pop out some of these uh, coins that I found. I'm thinking there's a lot of coins here because the people that lived here over the years, a lot of them were heavy drinkers. I lived through the woods there about a half a mile. And I could always hear a lot of loud music on the weekends. And uh, anyways, you know what they say about drunk people. They lose stuff. So hopefully we'll find some of the change and uh, stuff they lost here in the, in the driveway. So let's get going. Okay, here's the first spot I raked out. I don't even remember what the signal was. Probably a penny. But let's, we'll be using a uh, pin pointer. This is a Garrett Pro Pointer. It's probably, I don't know, five or six years old. I think they've gotten a lot better since then. This is pretty big. This might be a can. Uh, it's a piece of metal strapping. That was laying on the ground next to it. It was just laying like this and the, you can kind of see the dirt on it. Anyways, I picked it up. That might have been what was giving me a different signal there, but I didn't show you that because I could see it under the edge of the dirt. There's the next one. No longer in the hole. Imagine that. Looks like a little, uh, maybe a 9mm or a 380 bullet. Kind of flattened. We'll just kick the dirt right back in there. Let's go to the next one. Oh, I can see it now that I'm down here. See that penny right there? That's an 81. So that's a solid copper penny. Probably worth more as copper than it is as a penny. Okay, here's my, I lost track, fourth one. There's what we were looking for. Looks like another penny. 
Looks like a newer one. 87. After 82 or 4, they're zinc uh, centered and they, they really start deteriorating if they stay in very long. And they're a lot lighter too. You can feel them. Always check around after you pull one out. Make sure you didn't miss anything. Let's go to the next one. All right, I've got two here side by side. I, I marked one here and one here, and I can see that one right there. It's a 1975 penny. No big deal. I marked one here too. There it is. See me pushing it? Another modern penny. See how the edges look a little, uh, a little worn out? That's that zinc, that, that copper plating wearing off in the zinc on the inside coming out. Well, look at that. Look. I think that's a target. Yep. We could shoot that. All right. So what we find? Three pennies and a piece of scrap and that little medallion. Anyways, I'm going to go around through here flipping some more out. I'll turn you guys back on if we find something interesting. Um, but you see what I'm doing. I, uh, I normally dig them right when I find them. But because I didn't want to go back and forth the camera, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. I just marked them. I think I skipped a couple spots. So... I'll get them on the way back to my truck. Let's have the big reveal. You ready? Everything I found in the last 45 minutes. Yes. This was about half buried. I could see the handle. I, I, I thought it was a can. I kicked it. But it ain't. It's a cap gun without a hammer. So technically that's a hammerless revolver. Prove me wrong. Uh, battery to something, cell phone, something like that. I have no idea. Another uh, matchbox car. Um, I don't know what that is. You know, some channels would tell you that's a part to a stagecoach. Uh, I think it's off a battery connector. This right here was probably my best find. This is a, a CB antenna mount. So, um, we can get back to keeping an eye on the Smokies. Um, just a piece of random metal here. Let's shake this out. Let's shake it out and go through it. All right, some copper pipe. I don't know what this is. Part of a drawer handle or something. I don't know. Saw that. No. A lot of junk like this. A lot of trash. Matter of fact, that's why I quit. It just got so trashy. Um... And mainly pennies. I think I found one dime. Somewhere in here is a dime. A little peace sign. Got tired of digging pretty quick. Didn't take long. When all you dig is crap. Yeah, there's a dime. Two dimes. There's the other. That one was laying right on top. Anyways, there you have it. A bunch of junk. I didn't come down here to get rich. I just came down here to get some exercise. And when you're big as I am and you get down on your hands and knees about 50 times and get back up, that's pretty good exercise. So, uh, anyways, I'm on to uh, throw all the junk in that hole over there and put all the coins in my pocket or in a little cup in here and uh, head back to the house. So, thanks for coming along. Sorry I didn't show you. Uh, a mason jar full of Morgan silver dollars, but just wasn't in the cards today. <laughs> and I didn't think it would be. But I did find a hammerless revolver and a CB antenna mount. And man, I'm telling you, with modern technology, the way old things come back in fashion, we'll all be uh, back on 19 again, keeping up with the truckers. See you guys on the next one.